Welcome to another this guy's called tutorial. So I have this model here in Blender, but the problem I have right now is like I'm not able to move it on this axis. Like to move it, it will move on every axis. So I need to move it. Sure, I can slide it. I can slide it like this, and I can slide it on the other side as well. But I'm used to the uh, Maya tool set where you can just uh, I have the same object here, so you can just use the vertex. Uh, you can read like the pivot is here and I can align the pivot here by holding D and I can just move it. I'm more used to this workflow rather than the slide workflow that Blender uses. So I didn't find any solutions on Google say like uh, even on YouTube this there's this one video where he shows how to change the pivot point but uh, using the 3D cursor but it it changes the pivot of the like uh, you can set origin to 3d cursor and changes the origin of the whole object it's not the edge and all of that so i didn't find anything so the best method i found to be the same as this with the same hotkey as well like you can press d here and then align you can align to faces as well in face uh, this thing so and yeah one more thing so there's uh edge slide in maya which you can do the same thing as blender like you can press g twice and then it slides then you can press c where it goes beyond the limits so that is there in maya as well but it does not go beyond the limits like blender does when you press the c key so uh yeah in maya you can hold control and shift and you can slide but again it it has its limits like it goes uh, if it goes beyond this this point, it goes down below or or this side. So it's it's limited in Maya, but in Blender you have that CK. But yeah, back to the point. So in this, what I found out to be the best solution was to use custom transfer orientations. So you can assign a shortcut to this. I have assigned myself to uh, my shortcut to D, which is the same as Maya. You can add it to like. You can change shortcuts. I've already added. So you can just click the plus icon here and it will add a new transform, which is now oriented to the vertex here. So now if I want to reset it, I'll just have to go back to the global one. So now, uh, what I can do is assign a shortcut is I can press right click, assign shortcut, my wanted to be D. So I'll press D. So now whenever I press D on a edge, or a face or a vertex, it will be aligned to that. So, and now what I can do is I can press on an edge, I can press D, and now you can see that it is aligned to this edge, the Y axis, you can see here, it's aligned. And I can go back to vertex select, and I can move it on the pivot, same uh, exactly like Maya does. So yeah, this has been a really great helpful tool in modeling. Like, let's say I want to align it again here, and then back to this like you can go into edge select and then do that so yeah this has been a really good uh, tool in maya i recently found this uh, tool so i just wanted to know how i could get it to like blender i didn't know how to do that so uh, yeah this is the best possible but yeah the only downside is you will get like so many like i can press d multiple times and you can see that you get so many of these but I don't think this should be a problem like it does not lag or anything it's just there so this trick is especially helpful when you have an edge and you want to slide it on the same axis as both of these lines like if i just slide it using uh, like pressing g twice it slides it but it stops here and it straightens out the mesh like i can't slide it here even if i press c it goes beyond it but it straightens the mesh so i want to keep this angle and pull it down so yeah i don't think we can do that in like i can just press g and z but uh like um, like i can press g and z and it'll move it sure but what if it's if it's an angle like this and i want it to go like along this so that is where the pivot comes in this is a really powerful tool where you can just select an edge uh align it okay so make sure this is set to bounding box center so that it is uh, aligning to this I, I just had it on 3d cursor and i spent like 10 minutes figuring how to fix it so yeah uh you can align it uh using this edge like 
uh, you can align uh, so yeah so you can align it by press clicking on this pressing d and it will create an orientation which is along this edge and now i can set the, the select this edge which will be the same orientation and i can pull it down and you can see that that vertex is like touching that means that it is the same exact orientation as before so this is really helpful when modeling like hard surface props and all of that why because sometimes you'll have like n number of vertices uh sometimes you'll have like n number of vertices like going across and sliding won't help sometimes and this is the like best solution you can do and if you want to like pull two of them at once you can do this so yeah that's about it thank you so much for watching and see you all next time peace